So hey everybody, um, I just came back from Creativation and I got these wonderful sheets that I got to make at Gel Press. They are a little bit two-sided and I'm kind of regretting I did that now because if I cut one side up, you're not going to see the other. Um, and I think I'm going to cut some of these and put them in our mail journal. So what this book is, this book is a journal. This book started out with Clara Bennett and I've already done a whole video tutorial about what is in this book. And so my job now is to go in to add something to this book and mail it on to the next person. And the back side is all the people that are part of this particular hop. Um, I created one and I sent it off and she's done a whole bunch of pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and take, I think these two pages right here and I am going to cut, and I think I'm gonna use this one. I really like the way this one looks. Um, and this is regular old copy paper. So part of the reason why I kind of like this for this particular project is that we're putting this in a size, a regular size envelope. And I know I'm kind of hunting over here, but just like this. So we need to be able to fit it back inside. And this one's getting a little squishy, but that's okay. So it needs to be able to fit inside a regular size standard business envelope. And we're gonna do our best to stuff this in here. Or I might have to get a different one. This is one that came in the mail and it says place stamp here, blah, blah, blah. I was hoping to get away with it. Um, so I'm gonna use a couple of the blank pages and then it gets mailed off to the next person and then they put a couple pages in and then it just keeps on going and going and going. So because this is already lightweight, this is perfect to do this. Now, if I had, not done this on another sheet of paper, I could directly stamp right on here and do it in the book. But I already made this, so I'm, I don't wanna not use it because I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of add this into my book. So for anybody who's never done a gel press before, basically it's this jelly plate and then we took paint and laid it on the jelly plate and then they have these new stencil things um, and then we just let it dry and it doesn't take too long because the paint's not super thick. Um, but you could also take your paper and pretend like I put a whole bunch of paint on here, you roll it up with the brayer, you then paste your paper, you rub and lift it up and that's the design you get. I've got a whole bunch of circles because there's an impression into the plate itself with kind of this new stamp thing that they have. So that's where this came from. So I'm going to cut this up. I'm going to use my Beacon 3-in-1 to hold everything down. You could use a tape runner, but I just want to make sure it stays in there nice and solid. I know this is going to do a good job holding up to any other paint that's being added to the book. To the future. To anybody else who's going to add some stuff to this. How easy that was. <laughs> I already had done all the work at the conference, so it's not that I didn't do anything. It's just I had to come home and glue it in. So I just got these brand new stamps in from Brutus Monroe, and I have a little bit of an affinity to this one because I came up with that little saying, dogs have cat. Dogs have owners, cats have staff. I didn't come up with the phrase, but he was looking for suggestions to go with this stamp set, and he gave us a picture of the cat. And I was looking up a few things, and I thought, oh, and with that cat, it was perfect. I gave him about five or six, but that's the one that he picked, and I'm loving it. So I'm going to use the kitty cat on one side. Just make this fun and light. The papers look bright and cheery and just kind of fun. So I'm gonna go in with my stamp. Because I'm stamping on something else, I'm just going to go with my detail ink. And this is a brand new ink pad I am opening up. It's from Brutus Monroe. And I think, just so I can see, I'm going to add a little kitty cat right here down here in the corner. And I'm thinking I might add the dog up here just to kind of add a context. And I like the dogs have cats. And then put this right here so it looks kind of funny because then it has the dog and the cat. And just put the phrase right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink this guy up. This is with the detail ink fantastic ink and I really want to make sure I get my ink completely covered my stamp completely covered with the ink because I'm going on kind of a dark surface here and I really want to make sure that it stands out now I've got that nice and coated come in press and really make sure I get in every little nook and cranny And lift up. And I know it's not super obvious it's there, but it's there. I stamp this on white just so we can see it a little bit better and glue this in.
All right, so I just can't live with myself with how crappy those turned out. And I, it's not doing stamps justice and I just can't draw. I tried. But what we're gonna do is we're going to restamp these images on just a white sheet of paper and transfer them over. And I think I'm just gonna keep them black and white. But now that they're on white, I can really make them any color I want to. So restamp. See, doesn't that look a whole lot better? You can see all the definition in there. Night and day difference to what they did look like when I did it a second ago. It's, ugh, it's awful. All right, so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna get, I got some smaller scissors because when I do fussy cutting, I don't like using big giant scissors. They tend to get in the way it feels. So I'm just gonna go in, fussy cut. I'm not gonna worry about the whiskers. I, well, yeah, I'm gonna do the whiskers. Nope, I'm not gonna do the whiskers. I always just go in with a light pen and kind of draw those in. Same with the little hairs on top. I know I've already kind of added it in gold, and that's okay. I'll add something fun behind. I really can't go in and fussy cut those things out because they're just too fine. So you just do what you can. And I'm going to do my best to lay this right on top of where I have stamped it on the paper. So keep in mind, just because you started going one direction with a project does not mean that you have to stick with that plan. If it's not working, change it. Nothing says that it's set in stone that it has to be that way. Nothing says that you can't alter course and try something a little new. It really is whatever you want it to be, and if you're not happy with it, go with plan B. Find a solution. Now I'm gonna do is just kind of rest this guy on top should fit. It's got a little bit of a cool background so I have colored it and that's fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. I might actually go back in and add some gold. So then I'm just going to go in and put a little bit of glue. I want to overdo the glue on here but I really want to make sure that it sticks. This is already dry. See how fast that was? It's so quick and dry. I'm just going to add this on here got a cool little outline. The whiskers look like it's kind of coming gold off of there, which is kind of fun. Tail, we're going to kind of recenter the tail just a tiny bit to kind of fit into the space because I didn't draw exactly where I wanted it to. So now he's got a little bit of an outline on here and that's kind of fun. So I may go back in here for now and just continue the outline to make it look like it was part of what should have been the very beginning. There we go. That looks a little bit better now. Salvage. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing with the dog. All right, I did go ahead and cut out the center of this guy, and I'm just going to be very careful about the amount of glue that I add, and then I'm going to do the same thing about that little outline. So I'm just going to go through and add glue wherever I had put it, just so that it has a place to stick all the way around. Add them in. And that is looking a thousand times better already. I don't feel like I completely messed up now. And then just go in and add my little outline just to the edge. And that some of my glue is not 100% dry, and that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. And this is where, if you didn't do a super fantastic job of cutting out and you left some little boo boos, this is where the outlining can help you and it makes it look like it was part of what you were supposed to do in the first place. Now, if you want to go in and color this, you are more than welcome to, but I kind of like the way that it's white. I feel like if I add a whole other color in here and I don't have, I've already tried, I've tried to match a bunch of the colors and I really can't find any good colors. They just don't look right. They're not the right shades, you know, so the easier colors to do are metallics because they're going to go no matter what, but I'm thinking I'm kind of liking this. A little different, a little fun, a little funky. You know, it's adding some fun new things I just picked up from going to the conference or from one of my design teams. Next step is, is we're going to seal it. So right now I have some fast finish decoupage. It's a very liquidy type of uh, finisher, just, just like that. And all we're going to do is just use this to help seal it and to make sure that everything just doesn't bleed and move around. But it's a very lightweight sealer. And there it is. I'm just going to heat set it real fast and we'll be done. Here we go. Here's the next 
page in this particular journal. There's still a ton of empty pages in here. As you can see, this is just one of the filler pages that the rest of the hop can then add to before it gets back to the original owner. I'm gonna let this continue to dry. It is dry. I mean, I can rub my hand on it, no big deal, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it kind of air dry a little bit longer before I completely seal it. And I am probably gonna take one of these other pieces in here and set it in here for mailing because it was the most recent one. Thanks so much. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.